This is the Hili Oguma Eda in Omona community of Apipo South local government area. This community has had its rock and air surfaces tumbling down twice in just one month, with the letters having more devastating impacts. Locals say, though no casualty was recorded in both occurrences, over 10 houses have been totally destroyed, leaving several residents homeless. No, when we, we were sleeping, when downfall happens, then the thing started moving. Governor Mahi taking stock of the situation thinks that the disaster was avoidable. Since 2004, we've always been having very serious landslide. In fact, I lost one of my workers here. Uh, about 2008 during the construction of very heavy retaining wall here and that's what is uh, sustained this route 2008 to a very few days ago unknown to government that a lot of people had gone on top of the hill as you can see the a lot of houses here that sprang up and so human activities had to disturb the ecosystem of uh, this section of the uh, 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 the uh, uh, the retaining wall and the effect is what you see the road has been blocked and it's going to take quite a lot of effort to even unblock the road before you start thinking about how to reconstruct very long section of retaining wall and so nobody is passing through here just because of the activities of very few people the governor has announced an evacuation plan for residents in the affected area with resettlement as part of the plan so what my government is going to do first and foremost is to ask everybody on that hill to leave. We have to take over the hill if this road must, you know, be allowed for people. Not even at a time that we solve the problem, you know, uh, uh, of the Yeri Bridge. And then we have this uh, menace. So uh, we're going to look at how to uh, clear the road. The last life scene is a few poles away from the ongoing Iyere flyover bridge construction site, which the governor also promised to open for use within the month. This bridge uh, remains a nightmare, and that's why we've done this and reduced the slope from 47% uh, to uh, between 6 and 7%. And so in the next 30 days, this place will be open for people to start uh, to use it. If you go under this place, you will be able to find out that uh, this can compare with the second Niger bridge. I'm not boasting, but if you go down, you see the arrangement. You can compare with that of the, you know, uh, second Niger bridge. And don't uh, forget that it was done by Ministry of Works under direct labor. And I can tell you that this project did not cost up to four billion. AIT News, Abakaliki.